could dress up to get in love. Guess what? I'm never gonna be that girl. Completed uh, SS1. All the free HSS uh, form one. And we are now going back to school to start the second year. I want to tell you this afternoon is that SS is your foundation in life. And that foundation must be properly laid so you can build on it. Without SS certificate, you can't go to university. Without SS certificate, you can't do any other thing. Without the SS certificate, you are not going anywhere. Any opportunity that will come, you still need the SS certificate. That is why I say it is your foundation. And for that matter, every senior high student that is the foundation that is the only thing you can hold to be able to build on anything short of that it means you don't have a foundation so you cannot build on it scholarships may come your way but you need an SS certificate other opportunities for external programs will come, but you need the SS certificate. I've been telling you that there is nothing like luck in life. Luck is the thing we call luck, is a prepared person meeting an opportunity. If you are not prepared, opportunities come and because you are not prepared for it, you can't have it. So luck is already there, but you must prepare for it. And if you are not prepared, that luck that we, we call luck, which is an opportunity, really an opportunity, it will come but it will pass by because you are not prepared for it. So for luck and that opportunity to be, to be taken, you have to prepare. You have to make sacrifices. You have to be focused on what you are doing and where you want to go. I hope you are getting me. The thing is, in life, first you must determine what you want to be. Secondly, when you determine what you want to be, you must work towards that. For example, if you want to be a medical officer, you cannot become a medical officer uh, without reading some specific subjects. The sciences. Yeah. So if that is the aim, then you must sacrifice to learn the subjects that that uh, profession requires. Anything short of that, you are not getting there. The foundation will not be there. So you cannot build on it. If you want to be a medical officer in Ghana, you must pass some subjects at the SS level. And once you pass those subjects, it opens the opportunity for you to get admission to any other institution. But if the opportunity is there and you don't have the certificate, you don't pass those subjects, there's nothing anybody can do about it. It will pass by. Then you say, I am not lucky. I am not lucky. Luck is the person who is prepared for an opportunity. And when the opportunity comes, you take it. Right. That is exactly 
what we have been calling lack. There is nothing like lack if you are not prepared. Not at all. And in preparing, you need God's guidance to be able to direct you so you can prepare adequately. You know what to learn. You don't just go and be learning anything anyhow. You need God's direction. So God first and education second. And then the rest will follow. That is how life is. Yes, SS level is difficult because it is difficult because you people are so young, you don't understand why you have to go through so much pain to learn, so much pain to do housework, so much pain to do this, to do that. The teachers are giving you assignment left, right, center. Your seniors are harassing you left, right, center. But that is the sacrifice. And they are all preparation for your future. For example, if you get out of school and you start work, you cannot keep your environment neat. You will be falling sick, although you have a profession. So you learn that from school. That's why when you go to school, they come and inspect your bed. They come and inspect this. When you are, your, your hair is too bushy, the teachers will tell you, go and do cut your hair. They are all preparation for your future. You get it. So those informations are needed. Those background sacrifices are needed. You can't go to school and be sleeping 24-7 and think you are going to pass your exam. I've been telling you all the time that if you prepare, it will always show in your exam. Your exam will tell you that Jidula, you have prepared. The exam results will tell you that Jidula, you didn't prepare. This one, you didn't learn. The exam results will show you that this particular subject, you need to do more. It is all about preparation. When you prepare, God will take care of the rest. But if you don't prepare, God is not coming to write the exam for you. Neither am I coming to write the exam for you. So all will depend on you. The teacher's job is to guide you. Your job is to learn and understand perfectly what it is that you are learning. So if the teacher gives you guidance in the classroom by teaching you how things should be done, and you go and sleep, you don't practice, you don't learn, there's no way you are going to get it. And you can't blame the teacher. Neither can you blame me as your parent or other elders who you think should have been of help to you. You can't blame us. You have to blame yourself. So as you are going, take your studies seriously. Anything that they say you should do, unless you are sick, you cannot do it. Do it. It is for your own good. Is that okay? Don't think that they are disturbing me, they are doing this. No. It is preparing you for your future. Because remember, you will not be with me as your father every day. You will grow and you will leave me. And when you leave me, you have to do things for yourself. And if you don't learn how to do things for yourself, it becomes a challenge. You will be crying every day. Meanwhile, nothing is happening to you. So those are the advices I want to give you as you are going for the second year. The second year is going to be more difficult, not in terms of work, but in terms of study. Because you are going to be do, building on what you have started in the first year, and new things will be added. So you have to take it serious. Everything that you will need, I will provide for you. The only thing I cannot provide for you is to learn for you. Or come and write your exams for you. That is your prerequisite. It is you who 
who is going to be assessed, not me. So you have to take it serious. I think you have gotten enough of this advice. And you, I want you to take it serious. Put it at the back of your mind. Every morning when you wake up, remind yourself that that said, all these things are preparation for my future. And if you want a good future, then you must follow them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daddy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Daddy is very good at giving advice. Yes, he has advices once again as we are going to form two. Guys, I'm married to school. So I'll see you when I get back. I'll make a shadow post so we post this when I'm in school.